Hello, my name is Tony Fleming and welcome to Angler Kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking an Irish beef dish using a lesser known cut of beef called the feather blade. Grass fed uh, for me is obviously the, the, the best way to rear the animal. It's a very natural process, it's not forced, it's a slower, longer process and lets the, the meat naturally mature uh, and this produces more depth of flavour, layers of flavour uh, that you can taste either in a steak cut or even in the feather blade as well you have a deep richness which uh, goes well with the, uh, the red wine. So in with the beef into a nice snug dish, plenty of uh, root vegetables garlic as well, there's a bay leaf there, in with the herbs and then finally in with the, in the star anise. Now we're going to cover this in red wine, very important to use a good red wine, uh, good deep with full bodied um, because if it's a light red wine it won't really add the, 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 the punch to the dish so good red wine is important. And this, this, this recipe here can be used in general for a lot of cuts of beef. So we could use cheeks for this, we could use feather blade, we could use chuck. So it's really important for chefs and people these days uh, to use this as a cuts of beef because it helps, uh, helps the farming industry. This is our feather blade, just out of the fridge uh, after 24 hours. Uh, we've taken it out of the wine, dried it off. Here is our mirepoix veg, which we've strained off as well, reserving the wine underneath. Uh, and they're all going to be used in the braise. Season it very well first, white pepper, salt. Now we're going to sear it off in a very hot pan. All these initial stages of a, of a braise are very important. You must season the meat, the meat must be browned nicely. You must dry the veg first so you can roast the veg as well. When you put the wine in, we must boil it and reduce it as well. All these small parts of a braise will make the difference in the end. We take the whole lot, tip it in a pot, put it in the oven, you get a total different effect. Right, in the same pan, and again, very important, keeping all the flavour in the pan. Take our vegetables, dry it off a bit. Obviously, they're going to need to be a little bit careful because they're going to spit a little bit. And we roast all those up together. So everything in there together, herbs, the whole lot. So this is our wine that we've taken off, the, the marinade wine, okay, that's uh, strained off the vegetables. And then we add this, um, add this onto the vegetables. So we'll boil this down by about a half, uh, so it becomes deeper and richer. Now we've got some brown stock here, you can use beef stock. So in that goes, looking at about a litre and a half to two litres. So when that's boiled for a minute or so, so now we're going to pour it over our beef. And now we cover this and into a 90 degree oven, uh, anywhere between sort of four to five hours, check it occasionally, turning it, uh, and then we'll let it rest in that juice. So our feather blade's been cooking for five hours uh, at 90 degrees. Um, take it out of the oven, let it rest, uh, in the juice for an hour, take that juice off, reduce that down for the sauce, and then the meat, you re remove the string, uh, don't do anything else to it, just retaining its natural shape, um, rolling it in cling film nice and tight into like a sausage shape, and then we set that in the fridge so it goes cold and nice and firm, and then we can portion it, and we'll reheat it for the dish. So here are our portions of uh, feather blade, five portions into a nice uh, snug pan. This is our, the stock that we cooked uh, the feather blade in, Nothing done to it, just simply put through a fine sieve. We're gonna boil that up, reduce the liquor slightly to a nice glaze, baste it over a little bit, and then it's ready to serve. Okay, so we're gonna serve this today with some uh, nice autumn ingredients, being the time of year that it is. We're gonna put some pumpkin, some Girol mushrooms, some cabbage, and some artichokes. Quite earthy, really, mushrooms, artichokes, cabbage. Uh, and they're fairly robust flavours as well. Uh, they'll withstand uh, something very strong, and obviously a braised feather blade of beef in a deep, deep rich stock uh, is a strong flavour. So the ingredients that go with it need to uh, stand up to that flavour, uh, and pumpkin and mushrooms, the earth and something with the cabbage and the artichokes, uh, they go very well as well. And it's that time of year, autumn, autumn ingredients, braised meats, very sort of comforting and warming as well, so it's a perfect uh, match really. So that's our braised feather blade of Irish beef uh, with cabbage, pumpkin puree, diced pumpkin, artichokes, uh, Girol mushrooms served with a nice buttery mashed potato on the side. <laughs>